The question of Eleanor Roosevelt's sexual orientation has been a topic of speculation and debate for many years. While there is no definitive proof to confirm whether or not she was a lesbian or bisexual, there are several aspects of her life and relationships that have led some to suggest that she may have had a same-sex relationship with journalist and author Lorena Hickok. Eleanor Roosevelt was the first lady of the United States from 1933 to 1945 during her husband Franklin D. Roosevelt's presidency. She was a remarkable woman, known for her social and political activism, her work on human rights, and her influential role in shaping the Democratic Party. Her personal life, relevant or not, has raised questions regarding her sexuality. Eleanor and Franklin Roosevelt entered into a marriage, according to many historians and scholars, which was devoid of love, essentially forming a pragmatic partnership to benefit FDR's political ambitions. Early on, during Eleanor's pregnancy, Franklin engaged in an affair with Eleanor's social secretary, Lucy Mercer. Eleanor's world was shattered when she stumbled upon the passionate love letters exchanged between her husband and the secretary, leaving her deeply wounded. They even contemplated divorce, a move that would have jeopardized Franklin's political career. It is speculated by many that they chose to remain a non-romantic relationship and remain together. Franklin vowed to sever ties with the social secretary, but he continued to see her sporadically throughout his life. Eleanor, feeling unable to fulfill the role of a happy married woman by his side in Washington, was introduced to Associated Press reporter Lorena Hickok during this turbulent period. One of the most discussed aspects of Eleanor's life is the close and intimate relationship she formed with the journalist. Lorena Hickok, known as Hick, was assigned to cover Eleanor during Roosevelt's first presidential campaign. Eleanor and Hick grew exceptionally close exchanging a flurry of letters and spending a great deal of time together. Some of the more than 3,000 letters contained affectionate and intimate language, leading some to speculate that they had a romantic relationship. Of the letters the First Lady wrote to Hick, 2,336 survive, beginning in 1933 and ending with Eleanor Roosevelt's death in 1962. These letters were discovered in 1978 when a researcher opened 18 boxes willed to the FDR library by Lorena Hickok. Many claim that the letters document a passionate lesbian relationship between them in the early years of their friendship in a deep connection that lasted Eleanor Roosevelt's lifetime. Hickok's interest in women began when she was young. And over the course of her life, she had several long-term romantic relationships with women, according to scholars familiar with Hick's history and based on her writings. And somewhat unusual for the time, Eleanor Roosevelt is known to have had several close friends that lived relatively open lesbian lives, including long-term partners Nancy Cook and Marion Dickerman, Molly Dusen and Polly Porter, and Esther Lape, and Elizabeth Reed. Lorena Hickox stood out as an unconventional figure in her era, breaking the mold of traditional women journalists. She transcended the confines of the woman's page to delve into significant stories of her time, encompassing events like the Lindbergh kidnapping, financial scandals, and disasters which were typically covered by mainstream male reporters. Hickok a skilled Associated Press journalist, found herself reluctantly assigned to report on Eleanor Roosevelt. Initially, she hesitated, fearing it might relegate her back to the woman's page. However, upon spending time with Mrs. Roosevelt, Hickok was immediately struck by her remarkable departure from the conventional role of First Ladies of the Past. In 1933, Shortly after Franklin D. Roosevelt's inauguration, Lorena Hickok 
became one of the most prominent residents of the White House. She was given a room on the third floor, near the First Lady's living quarters, which was connected by a private hallway. The precise reasons for her move into the White House have been another subject of speculation. Publicly, the administration claimed the move was due to her professional relationship with the Roosevelts and her importance as a confidant to both Eleanor and the president. While some historians and researchers argue that the closeness of Eleanor and Hicks' relationship points to a romantic connection, others contend that it was primarily a deep and meaningful friendship. In the absence of concrete evidence, it's difficult to definitively conclude whether Eleanor Roosevelt was a lesbian or had a same-sex relationship. It's important to approach this topic with caution. The language and norms of the time when Eleanor and Hick were friends can be different from what we might expect today. Close, same-sex friendships with emotionally expressive language were not uncommon during that era. FDR's extramarital affairs obviously strained her marriage and may have led Eleanor to seek emotional support from her close friends. The question of Eleanor Roosevelt's sexual orientation remains a matter of speculation, and the truth may never be known for certain. What is clear, however, is that she was a remarkable woman who made significant contributions to American society and the world, regardless of her personal relationships or orientation. What do you think? Were Lorena Hicks and Eleanor Roosevelt lovers? Were they close friends? Were they both? And perhaps most importantly, does it really matter? Leave a comment below. Please like and share this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss the next episode of Mysteries, Legends, and Lies.